Alright, here we are. We are cruising in the van in Idaho going to none other than the Potato Museum. Taters! Yeah. We love taters! So Mr. Christopher Hanna is driving us. Oh, we're looking for it. We're we love for it. taters! What's going on the back we seat back there? We're going to see how came to be. Yeah. A little Mr. scary Dean back there. Mr. going to have himself a french fry feast. Potatoes. Some sort of potatoes. Idaho. lizard right there. Famous potatoes. That's my little guy right here. There is there the is. world's largest potato. Holy smokes. That thing is huge. That is huge. This is going to be a great day. I can feel it. Just a great day. Howdy, folks. Here we are. I stand in front of the largest potato at the Idaho Potato Museum here in Blackfoot, Idaho. I am just so excited. Uh, we've got an amazing adventure today planned for Jeremy Buck in the Bang. We're going to cruise in and see what the potato business is all about. Uh, as you can see, there's a little butter on top and a little sour cream and a huge, huge, looks like a baked potato, actually. Already, Mr. Christopher Hanna is getting the feel of it. Uh, I think uh, he could eat eat for weeks. But this really goes out to all those tater haters out there, man. Come on, don't hate. Gotta love tater the, tater. the tater. Don't hate her the tater. Let's go check it out. What's that? Don't hate her the tater. Yes. Taterific. This is how we roll. It's pretty cool. We roll in Idaho. Doesn't really smell like potatoes in here, but uh, looks like them. Here we go. Potato Hall of Fame inductees. Ray Rockwood. Where's the hut? I think that could be a new nickname for Mr. Deeves. <laughs> Ray Rockwood. <laughs> Man, we know him. He lives in uh, La Park. This is a foot plow. Of course. Everybody knows that. What else would it be? What's well, kind of a didgeridoo? Of course, it's a foot plow. Foot plow! Here we go. Why does he keep saying foot plow? Those are some weird taters right there. Those are disgusting. Look like bugs. Yes, it does. Looks like Would larvae. you want to have that potato crawling on you? It looks like larvae. Would you eat that? Look at that thing. <coughs> this is this showing you exactly how it happened. It started in Peru. Peru, South all America. over there. Cruise oh yeah, here. Peruvians are known Around for inventing here, the potato. All over Europe. So, it's shut down to uh, from Portugal to Africa in the 1600s. And we never got in Virginia until 1621. Somehow, Idaho's way over here, though. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how... So really, the potato landed in Virginia? Looks like it's 1621. How old were you But then? it really, really took off in Idaho's. Idaho's. Of course, everybody knows him. He developed the Idaho potato. Luther mm -hmm. Burbank. Luther Burbank. One of my heroes. Of course. Very well known botanist. Oh, yeah. And he invented the Idaho potato. Definitely. Which separates it from the, you know, Washington Vir potato, Virginia potato. Virginia potato. The Illinois potato, and the yeah. Idaho potato. I like to think of Virginia as the original potato. Here we got the Burbank, 1876. Of course. Uh, the oldest potato in Burbank at that time uh, was the 1876 Russet Burbank. He was elected from this variety, and uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah. You got the yellow fin, though, that they chopped up some tuna Ew. and put it in the potato. And Apparently. That's what, and it's an old European variety stand. Wow. I yeah. think I uh, went to high school with that guy. Yellow fin? Yeah, remember him? Was he Huck Finn's brother? Yes. I thought what I thought he <laughs> would be familiar. Yeah. And I'm really not sure what these are. I don't think they're potatoes at all. These are, yeah, uh, those uh, are. Uh, bed mites. I think they've got uh, that one potato that looks kind of like similar to a quarter if you use your imagination. Where's that one? Well, I would say this one right oh, here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, these, are, these are small, looks like uh, seeds, true seeds that are very, very small. They're smaller than a quarter. So, unfortunately, you could buy all of those then, seeds for a quarter. Where's the guy with the world's largest hands? Uh, that would be right here. Look how look wow. how big his, his hands, hands are. His hands are gigantic. They're super big hands. Those are huge. And this is a test tube potato. It looks like a fish. Uh, right there, they are they're uh, artificially inseminating another potato. Oh wow! Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know if we can show that. I don't know if we can either. And here's somebody that's stealing potatoes. They they arrested this gentleman, and uh, uh, freedom of uh, potato. Do you know who act. arrested him actually? Uh, Ranger Russet arrested the potato. Yeah. 
I don't know about you, but I'm I'm having such a great time right now learning about potatoes, and I really hope you enjoy our little program That's a on cool potatoes. One. The old gem chip, of course. Yeah. Look how much Chris Hanna is enjoying the potato museum. He is What's he texting. Doing? He's twittering about how he's enjoying. It's it. amazing, actually. I'm letting everyone know the world over how amazing Ladies this place is. The world's biggest Pringle. That's pretty Whoa. cool. I don't that know, really is it, huh? I know, it's so, I'm so bummed it cracked, though. I bet uh, that was a, oh. kind of a tearjerker. Could have been an earthquake. What's going on over here? This is the collection of all collections. It is the Mr. Potato Head, uh, Potato Head, uh, the Mr. Potato Head collection of figurines uh, in all shapes and sizes. We got Stormtrooper, Potato Head, Darth Vader. We got, looks like Mr. Deebs. Yeah. Or a Spidey. Look at that. Spidey potato. Even nice web, even. They even move the web. Super cool. Very cool. Uh, wow. Old, uh, it's quite an impressive collection. It's very cool. Hey, guy's stealing potatoes. What are you talking about? What? Hey, he's getting potatoes. He's getting away. Ah! Potato. It's a thing too, you can make a rice uh, potato vodka so you can't eat too many potatoes and drive. No. You have to be very, very careful. Definitely. I don't know what the, what the, what's the potato legal limit around here to oh, drive and eat. How four? Many, you can have four potatoes and still drive legally in, yep. in, in Idaho. Yep. I think in most states it's three, but in Idaho, because they're so good, you can get lots of cool stuff. Don't jump, Chris. Potato scale. How interesting. Is that a real potato? No, it's a rock, but it looks like a potato, or perhaps it was a potato back in 1836. Petrified potato? Petrified potato. That's a cool band name. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Chateau Motel, it's Petrified Potato, with special guest stars Euchre and Pinochle. This would look so great in the Chateau Motel. Just what is say. that? It's potato art. Oh. Exactly. Well, it's, I think it's you're seeing the, 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 the basically the transformation and the uh, progression of what it was like to farm potatoes back. So you had to get dressed up, yeah, to go out and work in the garden. That must have been tough. Yeah, had That's to put on tough. a vest. Um, had, had to have a, you know only one boot and then half of a foot. Um, and not, then the lady had to get dressed up in a full gown. And, and I'm then, really not sure what's going <laughs> on here. What? Uh, that's a very interesting That is position. super strange. Compromising. See, they even knew about the Macintosh apple, too. Oh, the way they've got, looks like they've got the... I just don't quite understand, like, what this guy is up to over here. He's... I mean, even if you did have to bend over to work on something, would you do it like that? Look how his... He seems to have an extra... I don't know. His very strange shaped legs and torso. Yeah. Um... Can you, is it possible to bend over and have one, one leg? Let's see. Let me see. It's even physically possible to do what that guy is doing in that painting. He's straight leg to you. Right. It's hard to do. It's not looks like it. Yeah, it's called the John Holmes potato. Yeah, really. Jeez. 18 pounds, 4 ounces. Oh. I think Deeb's left one of those in Schlotz's case. <laughs> <laughs> There's Elvis's potato jacket. See that? Where? Oh, that is super cool. Burlap Tuxedo. Another name for a great record. Dude, that is an awesome band name. We should have Burlap Tuxedo. Burlap tuxedo. That would be awesome. Yeah. Wait, what's this? What's the name of your new solo album, Chris? Pretty Girls Pose with Extra Large Potatoes. Nice. Look at that. Big. Look at that. It's like that That's big. That's very sexy. Whoa. Oh, it's hot. Look at that, look at that hammerhead one right Dude, there. Dude, that is... Look at this one. An awesome shot. That's an amazing shot. Apparently school was let out so the kids could help in the harvest. You need to get a good picture of that. could be the next email with all four heads on. <laughs> Everyone just holding potatoes. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> girls pose with extra large potatoes. That's a cool sentence. It is. Great shot.